Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you uh, one book about gamification. Uh, this book, written by Yu Kai Chu, uh, it's called Actionable Gamification. Yeah. So, we all know that gamification can <clears throat> help um, um, companies to um, train their employees by using a lot of different intrinsic and extrinsic ways to you know help them to um, boost their productivities and then also uh, in this book I want to share with you how games and motivation um, can help us to kind of uh, check uh, which game has more intrinsic or intrinsic and if you like to do some more about it you can uh, pretty much use um, you can choose um, autolysis um, framework so let's take a look okay so uh, you can choose invent uh, this framework um, you can go to you can choose block Pretty much, you type his name, and uh, um, the um, uh, the uh, his blog will be on the top. So yeah, he invent this one that I think is brilliant. For example, like he pretty much um, put all the motivations uh, inside the game into eight categories. The first one is meaning, second empowerment, social influence, unpredictable, uh, unpredictabilities avoidance, sar sar sarcasticity, and then ownership, accomplishment. So what's cool about this is that, um, for example, like meaning, meaning means that, oh, I feel a high, high up call is calling me, so I have to do something. For example, like if we work in some um, companies that are, like their missions are much, much bigger than us. For example, if you work for SpaceX or some cool company like NASA or JPL, um, their mission is to, you know, bring people to the space or some like high up calling. So when people work in that, uh, that types of companies, they feel like they, have, they, they, they are um, motivated by all those meanings and they feel like they are working something bigger than themselves. So that's the motivations. So for example, in games, uh, it's similar to, for example, right now I'm playing uh, Assassin's Creed. Um, in Assassin's Creed, first, I am the saviors for, each, for, for all the, you know, all the, um, all the continent. I help people um, and I kind of kill a lot of bad people. So I feel like it's like epic calling among me. So I feel like it's kind of like, you know, like in workspace and versus in a game space, it's kind of similar, right? Um, a hero was, uh, is assigned to something bigger than them. So that's called meaning. Empowerment, what's empowerment? Empowerment, for example, like, oh, if you are doing this for a while and it can unlock some features, so you become more powerful. For example, like in work, uh, for example, if you got promote, you got more access to the company assets, right? So that's another empowerment, which can motivate your employees to work harder. And then as for games, for example, like level one, level two, is always different, right? And then, for example, like uh, if I gain more um, experience, I can unlock more ability, and those abilities can help me to kill stronger enemy along the way. So that's another empowerment. So, for example, like yeah, so yeah, so milestone unlocks. It means that you empower other people, so it will motivate um, people. And social influence, what's social influence? Social influence, for example, like, um, yeah, like um, in, in games, um, in multiplayer online games, you can see like people share um, uh, their stuff, for example, in Farmville, right? Farm Village, 
uh, Facebook small games. Uh, you can always help your neighbors to, you know, um, um, uh, get some crops or give some social gifts for your uh, friends on Facebook small games. So that's social influence. And uh, in workspace, it's similar to like, for example, like, oh, uh, I share something, for example, like a mentorship or something that make you feel like you are belonging to this tribe and uh, through like social media or interaction with your friends and you feel like you guys are family, you guys are helping each other. So that's social influence. Unpredictability, it means that, oh, yeah, I can kind of like have a lot of different choices. I have like uh, some surprise, because uh, I mean, in games, the, the, the reason why people keep playing it, uh, because every time when you jump in, there, there's always a lot of different experience. Right, for example, like open sand, uh, like sandbox, right? Open world uh, sandbox, that types of adventure games. Uh, you can always jump into this open world and every time when you explore, you can figure out, you, you can find out like a little surprise. Similar to, uh, I would say, uh, in work. In work, how can we make something more unpredictable? unpredictable right so for example like we can probably have some creative stuff right for example like um having some games or some uh, bonus or you know some interesting um interactions or encourage people i i remember a um, long time ago i forget google or like some other big companies they have a like company culture which like no matter who you are like high C level of uh, a C executive levels um, in the company or janitor, right? Everyone has the right to write some ideas and put into a mysterious box inside a company. And then I think every week or every day, uh, someone will take it out and kind of everyone just like discussing about the idea. So it's like anonymous uh, ideas uh, for everyone to kind of share their ideas. So I would say this is kind of like a surprise and for people to kind of get some uh, stu stimulations from each other. You know, yeah, because sometimes in work, um, due to all the hierarchy systems, we always follow whatever kind of like our manager or, you know, people up us, we usually follow their orders, but through these types of like anonymous idea, you write down, everyone write down ideas and put it in the box if you have any, and then uh, the company will kind of discuss it openly as uh, it's a very uh, precious ideas for uh, all the companies. So I think that belongs to kind of like a surprise element for everyone. So for example, like if someone who has been a janitor for a company for 20 years and come up with an idea and which kind of like better than um, C-level people, I mean, she, and once the uh, idea got executed, she might feel like, oh, yeah, I feel, a sense of achievement right so i think unpredictability will kind of help uh companies culture and make it you know more uh, tense to us um for people to uh, uh, kind of like brainstorm and, and uh, make uh, a company like everyone uh, kind of feel um you know enthusiastic about working and then avoidance. Avoidance is more like, oh, I avoid uh, punishment. I avoid lose. For example, in games, um, if I, I do something, I would get punishment. Yeah, for example, um, in, yeah, I, 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 I will say, a, I will talk a lot about Assassin's Creed because I'm playing it right now. So, yeah, so in Assassin's Creed, uh, there's a uh, like high level monsters always follow me if I meet him on the map you know I will die because he will kill me and he's always following me so I have to run away avoid him if I kind of meet him and I will be killed I will dead I, I will be dead and then 
the game. I I need to go back to the game and start playing again. So yeah, so every time I need to avoid uh, that little weird, you know, horn monster. So that's avoidance. And then what's the company's avoidance? For example, like some companies, they would say like, oh, uh, I, I would say more Asian companies, like, uh, yeah. Um, like companies in Asia, they usually said that, oh, if you are late to the meeting or if you are late to work, uh, I need to uh, take some money out of your salary just for the punishment. So that's avoidance. Like people will do it, not because they want to be on time, just because they want to avoid the lose of the money. So that's avoidance, right? So in Yukachu, he kind of like cut it into half. So on the right hand side is intrinsic. Uh, intrinsic means that I do it out of my will. I want to do it. I want to improve myself. On the left hand side uh, is more like, oh, um, I want to be kind of like, oh, yeah, it's like, if you take out like accomplishment, ownership, scarcity, avoidance, if you take out all those, people will lose their motivation. So it's extrinsic. Okay, so so this is a really good map. If you are interested, uh, please per buy or purchase or go to you can choose website and take a deeper look at it. And he also has a, a YouTube channel. You can take a look. Yeah, scarcity. Uh, scarcity, it means like there's not many, for example, like countdown, right? So for example, in companies, right? Um, maybe there's like, oh, we only have those, um, um, like, for example, like, oh, we only have the um, a few amount of resource and or a few amount of uh, specials. And if you are in and you will be part of the decision team, for example, like Jeff Bezos always say like, oh, my decision team can fit two pizza, right? Uh, I bring two pizza and um, like the team can eat it and then feel fulfilled. No, everyone feel happy. It's not like two pizza size of teams. So yeah, it's like scarcity. And then uh, in games, it's similar to that. For example, like, um, for example, like countdown, for example, I, if I play Mario Brothers and then at the end, I always hear like, you know, the music becomes so fast and then I see the countdown <clears throat> clock. So I have to run and then focus on the tests that I have to focus. So that's scarcity. And ownership, what's ownership? Uh, in games, it's kind of like avatar. For example, um, sometimes we, when we jump into a game, we see an avatar and which means us, we feel like, yeah, we own this. Yeah, and then uh, for example, if anything associated with me, I would take care, extra take care of it, right? For example, if a tree, um, someone said that, oh, uh, this tree belongs to you, you need to take care of it. So every time when I walk on the, you know, um, on the garden or somewhere, when I see the tree, I will, kind of take extra look at it. So in games, um, the reason why you can customize avatar, it means that uh, the uh, game designer wants you to take extra care of it because you are controlling this one and this represent you. So that's ownership. And um, also in, um, in, in work, it's similar to, for example, like, uh, if you log into an account and uh, you see your name in there, or you, if you see like the board, your name on it, you feel ownership of this duty. For example, you open like um, management software, you see a bunch of tests assigned to you, and you kind of feel the ownership of finishing the, the work, right? And then accomplishment. Accomplishment is similar to for example, like a leaderboard, status points, badges, right? So um, um, in, in military, right? Like work in military or something that um, the soldier feels proud because they got badges, right? So that's kind of like in reality. However, in games, um, 
um, if I kind of accomplish a mission, then I got badges or I got level up. And also if I can share with my friend, I feel accomplishment. Yeah, so yeah, so this is kind of like a really good uh, motivation map for gamification. Yeah, if you go through uh, his blog, he will kind of dive into like more detail. For example, like left brain, right brain, right? So um, at the end, he mentioned that um, it's better to focus on right hand, uh, right brain because um, intrinsic motivation is, is more rare. And then extrinsic, um, once people get used to extrinsic, they want more and more. But intrinsic is keeping people consistent and long term. So he suggests um, it's better to focus in kind of like it's good to have um, um, every aspect included uh, at the beginning of if you want to get, do gamification or motivation. Uh, it's good to do the overall, but uh, it's also good to kind of like more focusing on right brain because it's long term. Okay, black hat and right hat. Uh, black hat is more punishment, white hat is more encouragement. So yeah, so he is really good in uh, kind of analyze all the game with motivations. Um, right now, like Farmville, you can see it's going to more extrinsic, right? So you see like there are so many extrinsic. So once you take out all the you know, ownership, all the accomplishment, everything, then people don't wanna, pe people don't wanna play fun bill, right? And then Diablo, Diablo, um, it's kind of like a really big famous game. And then um, it covers nearly every aspects of motivations. So it's so successful and nearly everyone loves it. And uh, Facebook is covering more like social aspects, right? And then Twitter is covering pretty evenly um, for all the motivation. So yeah, so in this book, it has a lot of like uh, detail of um, all the kind of like all the uh, stage of different motivations. And uh, yeah, and he also has a video introducing like his, um, his motivation canvas. So yeah, so. Yeah, so thank you for um, watching today's video. If you really like this book, uh, feel free to go to Amazon to purchase it. I find out this book really valuable. I pretty much read the whole thing. And then, yeah, and then if you like to watch more videos, uh, feel free to subscribe my my YouTube channel. It's uh, Dominic Wu, like YouTube, you, you just add Dominic Wu or Hummingbird's Day. Yeah, I mean, either type Hummingbird's Day or Dominic, you will find out. Okay, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye.